Hey, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone had a happy new year. Paul and I finished the weekend with 56 orders on eBay for $2,207.49. We're going to pull a majority of those on camera for you today. Uh, solid weekend, though. We did pull some out already. Uh, just the less interesting ones are ones that were more difficult to pull. It's going to be a full video of pulling orders, so wanted to get a few of them out uh, right away. Uh, I just wanted to take us the time here to address some viewer mail we got. Lisa, thank you very much. We got the viewer mail. We enjoy those stickers. They're really funny. Uh, I'm not going to put them here online because I don't want a bunch of people going crazy about it or anything like that. But thank you very much. Also, thank you for your service. And uh, fellow uh, New Yorker for a time there, you said you lived in uh, Rochester. And actually, that's where a lot of this stuff that we buy comes from. So it's pretty cool to hear that. And we always like getting mail from every, anybody. So Lisa, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the stickers and uh, all the support here on YouTube and stuff. So thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying Florida too. Uh, I wish I was down there right now. It's been pretty crappy up here in New York. You know what it's like in, in just, uh, January now up here in New York. Uh, thank you very much, Lisa. All right, so the first thing here, there's Paul, by the way. How's it going, guys? He just came back from Boston with the fam. First thing here is going to be D. I think it's hiding behind this little lunchbox right there. So what's the deal with this? It came with like a yeah, cologne thing? Yeah, I just thing? pulled it out of our scrap tote that I was listing, and it, it came with cologne at one point in time. I forgot what kind of cologne, but the car is a brand different than the cologne. I actually found who made it so obviously the two companies worked together at one time yeah cologne and that ferrari but that's a ferrari 308 gt uh, 125th scale excellent condition it was never used it was uh, actually one screw held it inside that cologne box but that sold 13 dollars plus shipping that's cool pretty little bonus sale there we got an ornament going out for 9.49 free shipping and next is going to be on 3a this is actually something I just tweaked uh, the other day and dropped a dollar. Right here, it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle little accessory lot for our, it's for Triceraton, uh, 1990. It's got like a belt and a couple weapons in it, so for $13, free shipping. Another ornament here is gonna be this one. So for $6.64 plus shipping on that one. And then next is on right. A. Right there. That front one? Yeah, that's it. Cobra Hiss tank. Right there, it is brand new in the package. Brand new sealed, I should say. Uh, it's a more modern one. I don't know if I can find the year right away. I don't know, if I had to guess, it's later 2000s. But yeah, brand new sealed. It's $27.59 plus shipping on that one. $26.59. What did I say? $27. Oh yeah, $26.59. And this is a cool one here. Yeah, I forgot we had to relist this. It's another one of these, and it's going to be the front one right here. Nice. And this is a relister. How many back there still? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six more of these. This sold for $70 plus shipping. It's our second one to sell for $70. This is a Headhunter Headsman Narcotics Guard from 1991. It's obviously brand new in the package there. Uh, yeah, 70 bucks every time this sells. That's awesome. Pull the other one out to relist and set it up. Yep, Paul grabbed the next one out. I'm going to take some new pictures. 4B. 4B. This is going to be a 1986 G.I. Joe. It's the figure only. It's in here in this bag. It's drop zone, 3.75 inch figure. Uh, $14 free shipping. Then we got some Valentines going out. D20, that's... It's like that time of year. We sold a Valentine's Day thing last two videos ago, something yeah. like that. There you go. 28 storybook Valentines. Vintage Walt Disney storybook Valentines. There you go. $19 plus shipping on those. Nice. I'll take that. I think this is something I dropped a dollar a few days ago as well. Just tweaking the orders. J5. There's going to be a lot of G.I. Joe stuff going out in this video healthy weekend of the Joe's going out. J5. This one is Naga 1989 again. Naga Hide with its file card, weapon, and hat. And that was $42.74 free shipping. Yep. 
Then we got Dan's 26 coming up this next. This a lot more than I thought it was actually going to go, and I'm glad I put it in auction. Yeah, I thought so too. These boxes were in pristine condition. There's no cars in these at all. Paul lotted them up, the six of them here. Put it at auction. Uh, $30.50 plus shipping. What era are these? Like what years, uh, Paul? I think those were That one 70s. says 74 yeah, on it. Yeah, they were 70s. Yeah, so 70s boxes, you can see how good a condition those are in. I know we're going to come across more of these, so that's good to know. We'll probably just do the same thing, put them in auction again. Yeah. J6, another G.I. Joe. Boss is outside barking at the neighbor. Let's see. We have... This is going to be this guy, top side. Yep, top side here. He's got his pack, a helmet, a weapon in there. Uh, 1990 figure. $14 free shipping for this one as well. This is going to be a full video right here. J2, going right back over there. <laughs> this sold once at auction and no one paid for it. So I just listed it pretty much at the same price it sold for. $35. Free shipping. This is just for the uncut Malloway card. So this was not on the back of the... Uh... Here, I'll show you real quick. So you got the file card that's on the back of this. You can see the difference it's cut out, or would be cut out. And then if it's a cutout from one of these cards, the front will be all ripped off because the blister being removed. These, though, were the Malloway ones. And the backs, you get the, the just one tone color but this one was had some value on its own cobra commander 35 free shipping on that so that's awesome staying here we got this light and motion ornament on with the snow 1988 that sold for 13 dollars and 29 cents free shipping and here was a a good order here we had six six gi joe pieces going out including three of these cards like i was just showing you when you rip off that blister and then you cut those out the back will look like this but uh this right here was international he bought all six things separate from each other so and then he asked to combine the shipping so what i had to do is i messaged him hey i can't combine the shipping on international orders what i can do um is i can cancel them all and then I can make you your own order. And that's what I had to do. And it saves them a ton because that international shipping is freaking insane. Uh, the total order coming to us is $85.50. Uh, you can see it says private deal in the screenshot or whatever. But I'll show you real quick what they were. I don't know the breakdown from each one. I just had these card backs here. Uh, Beachhead, Tunnel Rat, Dial Tone. Got a 1984 buzzer figure. Uh, this is Dusty with his card and some accessories there. And this is 1983 Torpedo with, uh, I think, his flippers and uh, backpack there. So these six pieces, $85.50. I was happy to put it together. It took a little extra work, but getting these card backs out the door together like that was awesome. Oops, I just screwed up. There we go. Next is that ornament right there. Staying here, we got this little... Charlie Brown ornament. It's Linus. Uh, $10.82 free shipping on that one. Still selling ornaments into the new year. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I'll take it. Every ornament out the door makes me happy. Next one is a multiple buyer here. He actually separated his buys by a couple days, but uh, as you can see, you'll see later. But this one is the Star Brigade uh, Payload Astro Pilot 7 inch figure. There you go. That one's a GI Joe. And sold for twenty-eight dollars and fifty cents plus uh, free shipping. This is a nineteen ninety-three one. You can see it has like more modern packaging. So if we see his name again, set it aside. So yeah, we'll together. See it. I already seen it once. Okay. Next, uh, next right over here. I just listed this. This is a random dinosaur that got listed separately. Uh, it is Jurassic Park. Did you list it? I yeah. just listed it from yeah. Baker Buy. It's a, it's very light, and it's sold for ten dollars free shipping. You know, nothing too fancy about that, but we'll probably make you know five bucks or so. The next are these golden books again. Yeah, we haven't sold one of these in a while. Right here. I'm assuming so. Cotter. 
Yeah. Two there bucks. Yeah. Two welcome back cotter books. Lotted them up together because they didn't have a ton of value. We sold probably three or four sets of these just like this. Six dollars and sixty-four cents. Looks like we have one more set like that. Yep. Plus shipping. So another one of those getting out the door. This is a different guy, but this is a uh, this, repeat buyer on. And this is actually um, this is actually a viewer sale as well. Oh really? Yeah, Bing Bear. It's uh, I want to say off the top of my head, is it Shane? Let me click on the thing. Yep, Shane. Thank you very much, man. I think he picked up multiple from today too. So we'll see here. But the first one he picked up, I know he's a West Coaster. Um, the first one here, Ripper. Where are we at, Ripper? Am I in the right drawer? Oh no, he's right. No, it's I just road. Sold another thing. That's Road Sorry. Pig. Where's Ripper? I'm I'm trying to be on where you're at. I'm on a different area. Are we in the right drawer? J12. We're looking for Dreadnought Ripper. Which I think was one I relisted. I think I relisted it. Ripper because I think it sold another time too. Oh, Alright, it took me a second to find that one. This was one that sold uh, going into Friday and I just relisted it and instead of putting it in J12, which is where we had the previous one, I put it back in the relisting box. But I did find it. Shane, thank you very much. This is 1999 Fun School Ripper G.I. Joe. Brand new there, sealed. I'll put this down, I'm pretty sure. I just offered $320 for that Capcom thing delivered to their shop today on Malloy Road, if we can deliver it. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's I'm gone. fine, yeah. 320? Yeah, delivered. What'd you, what'd you list it for? 300. Three all right, so we sold this right now. Malloy Road, three hundred and twenty dollars delivered. Um, I'm one and zero on it, and it's out the door immediately. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it in the last video I just posted or whatnot, but uh, just picked this up as part of a thousand dollar deal. Uh, we're gonna get three hundred bucks back on this, plus a little gas money to get it out there. Um, I'm gonna stop the video here so we can discuss what we're gonna do, and then I'll take pick it right back up with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sale. All right, that was pretty sweet though, selling that immediately. Next here is gonna be in 1B. This is going to be another little accessory lot for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This one is, where is it? Midshipman? I can't remember, what. I think it's for uh, Michelangelo. I'm pretty sure, I can't see it in this, the thing. $10 free shipping on that. These are things that have been listed for a while. Uh, how about this? Nine packages of tinsel. Little icicles, a thousand strands in each one. Uh, $15 plus shipping for these nine. That's awesome. You know, it's January 2nd now and those are going out the door. Uh, another cool sale here on CC. Paul had to step out the door real quick. CC's, not the Star Wars calendars. It's right here in the back, this J... Our, our Tolkien calendar, Lord of the Rings, 1978, brand new sealed in its original little like mailer package there. You see Walden Books sold it for a buck back in the day. $50 plus shipping. This was a cool one, wasn't it? Oh yeah, you're down on that already. Yeah. That's cool that that went out. Yeah, don't we have another or did we have others? J9. Um, we had others of those before. Right now, we just have three of the Star Wars left. J9. All right, I'm back with you. That was a demo. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so she must be late, but she's on her way. Good thing you gave her the address. Yeah. That is a vintage G.I. Joe uh, shipwreck action figure from 1985 with its file card. And that Parrot. That sold $29 free shipping. Nice. I love those G.I. Joes. 13B, yeah, I know. I love listening to these things too, and I really love when they sell. Next is in 13B. I think this might be the last I think it this. is. And we've been selling these for a year and a half. Yeah, we probably had seven or eight of them at one point. Oh, and there it is. Those are vintage Transformers G1 Papa Point pencils from 1985. They're new factory sealed. Those sold $39 plus shipping on that. That's awesome. 
Okay, next is a little thing that I gave you the other day from the, the basement or whatever. Yeah, and I just... What is he barking at? All right, sorry, I had to stop. Kabas was losing his mind because the propane guy was backing down my driveway. Um, so at least he was barking for a reason. He's in here now, so you might have to deal with him bugging Luna. We got these uh, Franklin Mint. Sorry, I said Danbury Mint earlier. These are Franklin, Frank, ugh, Franklin Mint Antique car coin collection it wasn't 100 percent complete but there was some extra ones paul just listed them super cheap to move out of here i think 10 bucks free ship shipping 950 they end up going on off 950 free shipping yeah they'll ship super easy look it shows two of them on mine oh wow mine it, it's just a little defect it's like a yeah this next one was an awesome yeah, loose right. gi joe finding these in that orange tote and list them a couple times a week the gi joe's like yeah. this I mean, you guys seen it? Thirty dollars, Mary Joe's. This one here is nineteen eighty six Cobra Bats figure, hundred percent complete with. Yeah, I remember this one right here. Seventy five dollars, free shipping, one figure there. That this is the one that his hand comes off, and it has like three accessories in that backpack that replace that hand. And uh, it's going to a tattoo shop. Is it really? Yeah. The uh, Capcom thing. Oh, that's cool. Seventy five dollars. Um, free shipping, like Paul said. That's an awesome one. Yeah, that uh, arcade thing's going to a tattoo shop. He oh. just, he's texting me. It's a tattoo shop. Let me know when you're here. Oh, that's so awesome. It'll be on display in the tattoo So we're going to come home with a bunch of tattoos? Yeah, we're just thinking. <laughs> gift can we get, can we get store credit? Yeah, gift certificates instead of this. Uh, we sold another one of these Pillsbury, uh, sorry. Jolly Green Giant. Maybe it is Pillsbury. Pillsbury, yeah. But Jolly Green Giant, 1988 pot holder. Uh, twelve dollars free shipping. Yeah, we've sold many of those. How many do we have left? Uh, two left, and we've sold a bunch, guys. So those are actually pretty good. Too. Okay, this is a big sale. Right here. Oh, okay. I was thinking up top. Yeah, show me that one. Check that out, everyone. That's a. This is a big one right here. It's Cobra Condor Z25 Arrow Viper with box 1989. <laughs> Um, as far as completeness, what did you have on uh, there? You'd have to look because I don't remember. I list so much stuff. Let me but see. I definitely wrote ne it down. He wrote near complete. Three hundred dollars plus shipping on that one. Yeah, three hundred dollars plus some okay. space out of here. That's awesome. I'm set this here because I'll do it. Nice. Three hundred bucks plus shipping. Next is above your desk here, number twenty-six. Um, I'll show you in the screenshot. I'm not going to waste time opening it up this time. But this is. Uh, reproduction of the cement truck. Um, Mopo it's got Lesney a, number 26. There. Yep, cement truck uh, with this little box. Repo one, so for $11.39 free shipping. And then one on CC. I want to get one rid of it. One on CC and one on CC. Right here. Where the there heck? Are. Oh, they're, are they in these things? Yeah. Here, I want to get rid of this one. Yeah, sure. Uh, again, you're going to have to wipe that one down. It, look in the screenshot. It's this 19-inch porcelain doll jester. Um, just some random thing you found, right? But apparently yeah, we, have we have three have of them. Uh, sold fifteen dollars plus shipping. Twenty-three. Yep, I, I listed these. I was happy these sold too. These are Jurassic Park Jurassic Park Command Compound electric fence pieces. I think there's six of them. Yes, there is. Um, Thirty-eight dollars plus shipping. We had a big lot of just random Jurassic Park stuff. You actually already seen a dinosaur sell for 10 with free shipping. Um, that fence was just part of it. I think Paul decided it wasn't complete, so he decided to part it out. And right there, $38 plus shipping just on that. I think he has three or four other listings from that same command center. So uh, Next is that uh, Lady and the Tramp by Walt Disney. Uh, we sold two of these, right? Yep, both the same price. Uh, they're vine, 12 inch vinyls, new sealed, $20 free shipping. Nice. Yeah, one more too. I just seen it when I pulled them this morning. What do you mean? Oh, oh how I many are left? Home, yeah, because they're in the red tote braid. Yep. Yeah, and then so we sold two of them, $20 a pop. Next is uh, 13 13A. A. It's another repeat buyer. Hopefully, it's not a repeat buyer with uh, today's stuff because I didn't check this. This guy is here. Nice. This is a vintage G.I. Joe Crazy Legs, version one from 1987, Hasbro, it's a figure only, $9.50 free shipping on that one. Nice. Now this is from, I labeled that new buy the arcade buy, 
And actually, you just saw, you just saw, uh, heard us sell the arcade live. Um, one of the things that was in there, though, as part of that buy, is all these role-playing books. Um, a lot of Dungeons & Dragons stuff that's really good. There was also this random Toon one, 1984 Steve uh -huh. Jackson Games. $20 free shipping on this one. It is loose from its cover. Um, see that? So I priced it down a little bit, but it still sold really good. $20 free shipping. Put that in a vinyl mailer and some bubble. Good to go. This is an FF. This is another thing I listed from that paper stuff while you've been doing G.I. Joe stuff. Nice. This is... Racing Champions actually yeah. sold pretty well. Uh, 124 scale uh, Top Fuel Dragster by Pennzoil. 1996, $20 plus shipping on that. Nice, $20 belt coming back to us right there. Another ornament. Random little ornament, Three Kings, a little Hallmark keepsake one there, $9.50 free shipping. Next was a sweet sale. This is my favorite sale of the entire Three weekend. Three puzzles in a row. They're right there, stacked up. Yep, there they are. These are big, big time puzzles right here. And this over here. Everything's around the uh, Peter Pan plate is selling except for the Peter Pan plate. I just put these here. That's it for the puzzles because I think we had a Marilyn Monroe one go out not yep. too long ago. Gotta here dust you those are, off guys. too. We'll dust the top one off. So these are new old stock. I don't know how to pronounce that. Cado. Cado. I have no clue. I'll set these over here because they're really big too. $65 plus shipping a piece on those. Yeah, so this one was by itself. Same buyer for all these. $65 plus shipping. Were they $65? And then, yep. And then both of these were $65 a piece too. They're the same puzzle. So we had a quantity. It's called Man and Woman. Um, this one isn't Cadeau. Yeah, it is. A Cadeau jigsaw puzzle. More than a thousand pieces. These are 20 by 20 inch puzzles, so 130, so $195 on these. Um, all going out to the same buyer. Gonna have to, I'm gonna have to just slide around like that. I'm um, gonna have to refund some shipping there, but that was probably my favorite sale from this whole weekend. Yeah, for $195. Those, there? those have been listed for a while, so we basically waited that buyer out on that one. Uh, just waiting for someone to find it. Next here is gonna be this figure. This is Nemesis Enforcer. 100% uh, complete on this one, 1987, even has its file card, $26 free shipping. You want to grab that one on the turnstile, Paul? Yeah, this is a cool sale too, I didn't see this one, it's been listed for a long time too. This is also from the, this is from the meth buy. Yeah, I've seen that. We got a little turnstile up here, we put all these little cars on. A dust on the top of it. A lot of things that it took a long time to sell. Is this like a transformer? It is a transformer. Okay. It's a mini bot by Toyota Wagon. It's a vintage go bot that sold twenty dollars free shipping on that. Very nice. And then I don't even know what the hell this is. I just listed it. Okay, I was gonna say. Remember like, that other tin we just sold? The Cinderella it's no white one? Yes, yeah. this this was right next to it in the same tote and I listed this one the same exact time. I was surprised these actually sold. This oh, it's for butter cookies. It's a cookie tin. Literally, I had to take the freaking cookie trays out of it. Really? Yeah, it was sold to cookies from the it's grocery a, store. It's a grandma token it up there, it looks like. But smoking Granny, Burton Butter Cookies of Britain. 1969. That sold $9.99 plus shipping. Yeah, nice $10 bill there. Got a vinyl going out. Dope B. For those of you interested in on how and why we pack up the vinyl the way we do, um, the video I just have posting today, so it'll be our last video. Um, I go over that. Right in the front here, Elvis Presley, loving you. I just started to watch the movie Elvis like the other day, and I fell asleep within like the first five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is LPE-1515, brand new sealed. Paul Sun listed this for us, $15 free shipping. Next is up here. I'll grab the ladder for it. I'm gonna grab two things because one did sell live while we were. Yeah, we did have a live sale. This is the one we're on right we'll now. We'll get that at the end, or you can get that yeah, now. I'm gonna grab it now. 
This is a vintage G.I. Joe Cobra Stinger Attack Jeep from 1984. Uh, I think that's complete. I didn't read it. Yeah, it's hard to see in the title. It doesn't say, it doesn't even say complete in the title. $47.49 plus shipping. This was the live sale. I don't even know what this, this sold for. $14 and some change. Am I gonna be able to grab it with one hand? Yeah, yep. It's not gonna come apart? No, it shouldn't. What was it, 14 and some change? Yeah, I'll tell you right now, I'm gonna scroll up to it. He's gonna read that off. Hey, Another G.I. Joe, Joe piece Joe though. Cobra Maggot vehicle for parts of restoration. Um, this is from the Joe's buy. That sold $14.20 plus shipping. Oh, this is the one that... I sent a question on and I sent him the answer. Yeah, to. but you also, because of the condition of that one, he gave me the driver for that separate and I sold it yep. for like 38 bucks or something like that. Yeah, that one's a perfect um, here, this is going, next one is also Shane, the viewer. So thank you very much, man. Picked up multiple, Bing yep, Bing oh, Bear. Wow. Let's see here, what is it? J12, so let's see if I screwed this one up. Um, it's right here, I believe. Airtight? Yep, airtight. It's the first word, I'm looking in the middle of it. Airtight action figure there, 1999, another fun school one. $37 free shipping, and it does say uh, that we can relist this one too. So Paul, you want to look for airtight in there? Airtight, yeah. You got to put that with the other thing there one. I didn't know we had that. Yeah, he got Ripper. Where's that at? Oh, right there in the back. Did this file sell too? Um, I'll have to look at that. Was it double? I don't know. I don't know, because I did write relist. Okay, because there's file card in here. Yeah. Right here. Airtight. Yeah, let me see the file card real quick. I know no, I that's monkey right wrench. Okay. Your phone's going nuts. Thanks, Shane. J5, another G.I. Joe. Hope you guys are enjoying the G.I. Joe stuff. It's going to be coming for a little while here. I believe this is Torch, 1985. We can't even keep these drawers full at all. They're, like, they're almost oh, bare yeah. bones again. 1985 figure. He does have his backpack and file car. $14, 24 cents, free shipping. Come on, leave her alone. She's on her bed. Leave her alone. Go, go, go. All right, just listen to these. They're top of the file cabinet. They're right behind that box. That's crazy. Both of these things sold. These are vintage 1988, only because they say it right here. We priced these right too. Yep. The Land Before Times are just uh, disposable shopping bags. They're paper. They're not ripped. They're in really good condition. I listed these just last week out of this tote, I think, here. Uh, Ryan and I talked about pricing on these because there's nothing to compare to. I had to list them off of goodie bags. But they sold, we list them for $30, they sold for $28.50 plus shipping on those. And uh, probably in like what, three days or so? Mm -hmm. So that's about pricing pretty good, I think. Uh, next is this random little cup that you uh, listed again. One of these uh, Napa Valley mugs. I think that's autumn and I did winter, or that one's winter and I sold autumn before. So really? They're seasons, yeah. Yeah, so just random loose, loose mug that he, uh, Found in one of the totes, $12 free shipping. These are really, really light ones. So we'll probably make like five bucks or so on that. And 4A. Feels like this video is taking forever. A couple of PlayStation 2 uh, memory cards there. $13 free shipping. Those have been listed for a while. So happy to get those out. I'm going to move some stuff over. And then I do have a... I gotta go right to where you just went. Oh, I just stepped on something. What'd that come off of? Did that come off the vehicle? So. Piece there too. It's an eyeball. Something Is they he chew chewing something up. Yeah, that's dog bites. Oh. It's an eyeball of some sort. All right. <laughs> uh, right here. Oh, it's a fuggler eye. Oh, okay. Hold on. This says. Dragons of Flame. It's this one right here. It's another Star Wars book there. Or sorry, Dungeons and Dragons. I said that because the Star Wars thing tipped oh, over. I was like, golly, he's Quiet. Um, Dungeons and Dragons here. Dragons of Flame. It's a TSR 9132. This one sold for $20. Uh, free shipping. It says plus shipping in the uh, description, but that's because it's going international. Here's a big stupid thing you, you listed. Yeah, I did. Takes up tons of space, not a ton of value, but we had it. It is brand new. 
I could see someone using it and it'd be pretty, you know, it's a beach toy. Right. So obviously, you know, it has some functions to it. And people enjoying the weather somewhere on a beach, not here. So that's but, a vintage 1980s Tarko Summer Popsicle Toys Beach Sand Bucket Toy. Was there a bunch of them? Listed? Yeah. None. Oh, really? I had to list it off another thing. $10 plus shipping. There was a one, nothing new. There's a bunch, of, there was those popsicles sold in a set of beach toys before they were open for like pennies, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. The Incredibles DVD, $10 free shipping. And then. This is the other repeat buyer that did. Did those. he buy that yep. one? Yep. I think. That's the one. So again, J12 and relist again, Paul. Okay, I'll look for it. Dial tone, it's the one we had a couple of. Right here. We've already sold this once or twice. I think we have one or two more. Dial tone. Um, the year on this one is, I'm not sure, right off the top of my head. But yeah, brand new more. seal. This is uh, $29 free shipping. And it's going out with this order right here. Here's a really good sale. G.I. Joe, shocker. Might as well just make these G.I. Joe videos. I'm liking it. <laughs> I am too. J11. Is this guy? No, nope, this one. Nope. Where is he? Behind me? Yep, right here. It's upside down. So this is another mailing card. You can see there's a couple more there. This one has the red back. Um, this is Hawk right here. Brand new sealed. So for $82.50 with free shipping. Both those Malin ones are really good too because they are brand new sealed and they were just a little bit harder to get than the other stuff. I'm assuming you had to mail in like the UPCs or something like that because I have seen some card backs where the UPC was missing. This next one's another one by this guy. Repeat. J12, yeah. you getting the relist? So J12 again, we should have just kept this open the whole video. Uh, Toxo Viper going out. I know we've sold him before as well. Still have another one to relist. Again, going out to the same buyer. Thank you so much. That's three uh, GI Joes for you. Thirty-two dollars and free shipping on this one. And last, what's that? Relist box is getting depleted. Oh yeah. It used to be packed full of them on top. G20. Little tiny figure here. This is from a GI Joe vehicle that Paul parted out. Uh, let's see here. Little looks like a little gun. Uh, 1987 Cobra Maggot. So th did this come off that other piece? Uh, yeah, it might up. Yeah. Yep. So he parted it off of that shell of that vehicle because this had value on its own. Fifteen dollars free shipping on that. Yeah. So I made as much off of that as the whole vehicle almost sold for fourteen. And it ships easier every time. But they paid for shipping. Almost same out by pulling that off of there. Tons of stuff going out here. Tons of stuff going out. So we got our work cut out for us. We even got a bunch that we have to relist right there. And then once we're done shipping, we're going to meet this fella at twelve thirty. Three hundred and twenty dollars. Literally was in the shop I listened. an hour after being listed, if that. So, pretty happy with that. Um, thanks, you guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And Paul will tell you to see you, see you in the next one. Yeah, it wasn't very smooth, but it was, oh, we tried. Okay. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.